Hey, what's up, beautiful Bellcast listeners? Welcome to another episode of Bellcast. I'm motherfucking Gio. And I'm Bart. Oh, you're wearing a jacket today, little Bart. It's fucking cold. It's not that cold. I ain't even wearing a jacket. No. It's actually not that cold. It is fucking cold. It is fucking cold. And we like <laughs> our building that we're in now, it's just fucking cement, no insulation. So it's literally colder in here than it probably is out there. Yeah, it's and it feels like it's getting colder, like someone turned on the refrigerator or something. Refrigerator? Do you say refrigerator or do you say refrigerator? I think I was going to say refrigerator, but I was so cold that my jaw locked up. So I just said oh, refrigerator. refrigerator. Have you ever had your jaw lock? No, like lock jaw, like real lock uh, jaw. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've seen people where they, it just goes like, uh. uh-huh. I've seen someone, I think this is this might be one of the ones where it scared me out of doing roller coasters, but I went to Disneyland as a kid and then uh, someone, like an old lady came out of Matterhorn and she came out like this. Wait, and I'm like, what the holy fuck? fuck, I do not want to ride roller coasters if it can scare the fuck out of you like that. Was she alive? She was being pulled, pushed out in a wheelchair. I mean, was she alive, though? I don't know. I didn't get close enough to take a pulse. Shit. Matterhorn ain't even that scary. What are they tripping off of? I don't know. This lady was like... <laughs> and you know, when you're like, I don't know, like seven or eight, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, did you ask your mom? Your mom's like, shut up. No, my mom, my mom was like, that's why you don't ride roller coasters. I'm like, you're right. So your mom's afraid of roller coasters, too? She thinks it's dangerous or something. No wonder you're scared of it because it's all like psychological because I honestly I thought it was like, oh, you're just afraid of heights and it's the vertigo and all that shit. I am scared of heights. You know, I'm scared of heights. Yeah, but you're not really scared of heights because you're down. No, you're not because you're still down to skydive. You're still a badass. No, but what the fuck? You're not a badass because then when I want you to ride the rides at Disneyland, fucking California Adventure, your bitch ass bitches out. Yeah, because that's for kids. Shut the fuck up because you're scared. I think it's psychological, dude. I think you need to force yourself. To get on them. Because I've been on them. I've told you so many times. I know, but your mom put I've that thought so in your head. I've been on so many fucking loop de hoops Your mom put that thought in your head, and that's horrible. And now you talk about this grandma. Like, that shit is not happening because of the roller coaster. It's because of their poor health. I don't know. That lady looked fucked up. She looked like she was dead and alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I look like these days. Yeah. Oh, well, you look beautiful. Look at their sparkly cheeks. Thank you. Oh, I put sparkly sparklies on it. Why? Because uh, I'm in this new place right now. I feel like every podcast I'm like, I've changed. But really, I'm just like less give a fucks. And I have a bunch of makeup that I didn't get to wear this year. That's fucking ladies. You, I know you're going to film me on this. Um, it's just going bad. Like it's just drying makeup out. Makeup goes bad? Yes, baby. It has an expiration date on it. What? Like food? Okay, not a date. But it says like good for like 16 months or 24 months. Yeah. Let me see. No, not like food. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. No wonder they rip you guys off. What? No, it no, I mean it literally goes bad. Like So this you one, have to buy new shit. No, you don't have to, but it's just recommended if you want it to be like at the best. What like this the like fuck? this little thing here has a shelf life. This is 30 months. Oh my god. Yeah, but you don't have to follow it, but you just start noticing the quality of like this Vaseline or the mascara, it just dries out. Wow. So it's, they're not like trying to fucking pull the wool over your eyes. but They sure did. They did, they did it. Imagine for dude stuff, if like shaving cream or soap it does had, go, a, had it, an expiration date. It does. I've seen soap in Asian households go until the soap <laughs> itself cracks. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, like it's just sitting there and not being used and it cracks it's before use? It's just so, I don't know how the moisture got sucked out of the soap, but it looks like the bottom of cracked feet. <laughs> of your feet yeah and it's soap and you would never think that something made out of wax would dry out oh. and this thing dried out oh shit yeah there's pieces of soap at my mom's house that is so dried and cracked and hard and, and even white because it's just been sitting there so even the color disappeared and well left i think it. i think your family just has issues just throwing shit away no they're just very frugal and but you have not to rub it like it. a thousand times just to get one bubble out of it because i don't even know if it's soap anymore at this point it might just be a fossil. Uh, I mean, so for makeup, you can do that, but it just, the texture of it is just different. What, it gets, gets clumpy? Sometimes it'll get clumpy, clumpy, or it'll be dry, or it'll be um, like like oily, like the oil and the rest of the formulation like separates. Oh. Yeah, like it, it'll just. What do you do? You got to shake it up then? I think you just have to throw it away and you get a new one. I see. Yeah. But because of that. And because I've been seeing my makeup go bad, I'm like, no, I'm fucking using all of it. So even for Christmas, I had like, I did this stupid red eye. Well, it's not even stupid, but 
I liked it. It was a red eye eyeshadow and then a green eyeshadow. And it looked like I had bruises on my eyeballs, but I didn't care. I was like, I'm festive, bitch. It looks nice. I liked it. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if I had a fuck it moment. I think my fuck it moment only comes with shoes. What what do you mean fuck it moment? Because I have so many shoes. I I say fuck it like on like daily, like a hundred times a day. I know, me too. And then so I don't think I don't I don't think I need a it's time to fuck it. Because I'm always fucking it. Oh, so remember, I'm the type of person that doesn't like a lot of attention. Yeah. So as as it is, I'm already really tall. Yeah. So I already attract a lot of attention. Oh, uh, I see. You know? Yo, so you can feel it. You can feel eyeballs oh, on you. Oh, 100%. All the time. All the time. But I mean, everyone, you could see people go, that's a tall bitch with no, their eyes. No, but I think because I stand out uh, that they look in my direction. I don't know what they're thinking, nor do I care to know what they're thinking. Cool. But just, I think just the initial like, I want to be invisible, but I'm not invisible and people can see me Then I'm like, oh, fuck, man, I hate this. So now to attract more attention, I hate it, which you ever is thought funny about, I say that. So you like wearing face masks and sunglasses now? Oh, it covers I fucking you love it. Oh, my God, I love it because now I can wear literally even louder clothes because I do wear loud clothes, which is kind of ironic because I don't want to be seen. But yeah, then I do you wear, don't make any sense. I don't make any sense, but it just makes me feel fun and alive inside because yeah. it's just so black in there. Just kidding. Um, that, yeah, wearing glasses and a mask is the fucking shit. And I'm like, the other day I was thinking, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if celebrities love this shit. Because now they can just be a member of society. I Unless so. they're like super fucking tall or have know, like. You know all the paparazzi specific- pictures and they look fucked up. And I think from the paparazzi's point of view, it's almost like, oh, look, I caught Jennifer Lawrence looking like shit. Or I caught Ryan Gosling looking like shit. I think they're trying to look like shit on purpose. So that they can, uh, like, be unassuming. You know, oh, like, right. like, they want to have, like, well, the gray also, hair is all scraggly. Everyone's always wearing, like, a faded baseball cap just so they can look unassuming on purpose. Possibly, but I think it's also, they're just relaxing like the rest of us. Yeah. And they just want a day off. But then the paparazzi makes it almost seem like, ha ha, caught you slipping, you dummy. Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah. then they sell that shit, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Imagine being so powerful that a picture of you gets leaked. And you can erase it off the surface of this fucking planet. Impossible. It's not impossible. Impossible. All right. Well, at least you can have the fucking tabloids not talk about it. The on- No, the only person is uh, so far is whoever Jeffrey Epstein's involved in. Somehow he killed himself. But no one else. If they- Did you hear about his? The, I don't know if it's a true story. It could be fake news. But his cellmate. That was that he, that uh, he had for that brief stint. Yeah, that guy surf like came. There's a news article on him saying that he's dead, and they think it could be COVID related. Yeah, right. He's dead. He's dead. Oh shit! Kaput out swimming with the fishes. Wasn't the security guard dead too? I don't know. That's so crazy. I know, right? Man. I think that place is haunted because if he killed himself, like. Everyone that stepped foot in that place is dying. Yeah, why is everyone so crazy mm. around there? I don't know. Maybe there's something in the water, huh? Yeah. Hey? Must but not have anything to do with the pedophile ring. How do you keep blinking like that? Stop like doing that shit. Like it's what? freaking me out. What do, how do I keep blinking? You do half blinks and you roll your eyes. So you keep going, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, no, that's that's more than what you're doing. I don't even see the blacks. I see white. And you're like this. I'm like, how do you do that? Did I do it? I don't know. I feel like you're going to blink and then you trick me and then you don't blink. And I'm like, what Why is the it fuck? satisfying you when my eyelids touch? I think I, I think I'm used to a sequence of things happening and the sequence is like a blink. So all of these things are still normal, even though you're still trying to do a random pattern. But the fact that you're like, and then you don't close your eyes. I'm like, fucking close. <laughs> let the eyelids touch. God damn it. Oh, anyway, it just kept tripping me out because I only see white. You're weird. Duh. I haven't heard that in a long time. Weird? Yeah. I don't think I'm weird anymore. Well, you haven't seen anybody. Is that what it is? Yeah. So I'm just stuck with the whole bunch of weirdos. You I'm guys. weird. Taika's weird. No one's going to think you're <laughs> weird at home. But if you go out into the real world, everyone's going to say you're fucking weird. And we, no one's going onto the real world, so no one's telling you that. True. Well, I'm really excited. We're going to hang out with friends that we haven't seen in fucking forever. And they're weird, too. And these are our friends in our fitness space. So we're just so fucking excited because a lot of our fitness friends, unfortunately, don't live in 
California anymore. They all moved. Yeah. So stay tuned for our vlogs. So we will be vlogging. It's going to be awesome. Fuck yeah. It is going to be super awesome. So I, I mean, I hope somebody tells me that I'm weird, but then I don't hope that they tell me that I'm weird because I hope that they're just as weird, which I know they're going to be fucking weird. Yeah. I'm do you, excited. is it better if someone normal tells you you're weird or if someone's weird tells you you're weird? Oh, if someone normal tells me I'm weird, I'm like, you are so a fucking uptight. I like that. And then I get even more weird. When they think I'm weird, I'm like, oh, you just need to let go, bro. And I get more But if weird. someone's weird and they call you weird, that means you are really weird. Then. That's a compliment. That's if a compliment? they're weird and they think I'm weird, I'm yeah. like, oh, thank you. So like, let's say Bobby Lee or Kalila, right? Which I fucking love, love and adore to pieces. They're awesome. If they're like, you're weird, I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Because then you feel like they're calling, like you guys are in the same group. Yes. And I just think uh, they're so cool. But what if they're like, you're weird. They're not that type of people. So they know that. You, so what what you're receiving is on the spectrum of weird. You're on the spectrum of almost unacceptable. I mean, if they say it in a tone, judgmental tone like that, yeah. I'd be like, hey, don't judge me. That's mean. Yeah. I see. I mean, I think I'd be a little bit sad. But luckily, they're really nice people. Kalila said in 2021, she's going to kiss me on the lips. Oh, shit. That's sexy. I know. I've been flirting with her for years. And she always calls me. She goes, you remind me of my older sister. She always said that. Like, I, oh, I'm always like her older sister. Who's older? What do you mean? Who's older? Are you older or Kalala's older? Or same age? I don't know. Oh. Maybe around the same age. Maybe one of us is older. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so all of my advances, uh, she always flipped them on me real gracefully. Like, oh, you're like my big sister. You remind me so much of her. And then I forgot what I said, but then she finally, it's in writing. You can check it out. Would you be down to do a foursome? With whom? Kalila and Bobby. No. Why? Um, I've heard, you, guys I, are gonna, you guys are going to kiss on the lips already anyways. Well, lips is lips, you know? Actors kiss on the lips. It's yeah. fine. So? Um, I think I know too much about Bobby's personal hygiene. We're all going to take a shower together. Mm, I don't know. Probably not. Really? No, I love Bobby like a brother. No, I'm gonna be fucking him. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right you now? You kiss Kalila and I kiss Bobby. We're not even 15 minutes into this fucking you kiss podcast. Bo you kiss Kalila, Bobby kisses me. Okay. Yeah. And then and we'll just let nature take its course and see what happens. But what if he wants to fuck you? You're okay with that? Because that's a foursome. Then anything it, goes. Then it's Kalila. So it's not is, anything no, no, goes. No, is Kalila gonna fuck you too? Sure. Yeah. If anything goes, anything goes. Let's do it. it. Sounds like fun. You're such a liar. You would not do it. With Kalila and Bobby, I'd be down. What? You said you could never do anything with people you know. But they're not people I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is they're, Joe people you know? Yes. Uh, really? Because yeah. he's just as wild as they yeah, are. Yeah, but Joe's like a brother, you know? And Bobby's not a brother. Bobby's not even a human being. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, please send this Bobby to... Bobby is half alien, <laughs> half Kalila, alien, half like a parking lot inflatable man. He's a fucking unicorn. So he's, to me, uh, he is a completely, I don't know, non, non-earthling. Yeah. And then Kalila is this Filipina goddess that I've never met. So if you guys kiss, then me and Bobby about. could do something too. Well, what if Bobby doesn't want to do shit with you? Then we'll just hold hands and watch TV. He doesn't want to hold hands. He doesn't like you. He told me. Then I don't know. Yeah. But would you really have a foursome? Maybe. As I get older, I'm more uh, explorative. You, so you wouldn't have had it before? What? Not with another dude. For sure, no. So now you would? You would consider it? Only if it's Bobby, I think. No, stop no, it. No, no. Bobby was literally the one that opened my eyes right now. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do it with Bobby. Why? He seemed like a fun guy. In what regard? Like he'll make jokes or he's going to no, fuck he's you gonna, in a fun way? No, it's going to be a fun time. Like, I feel like if, like, let's say we crossed, if, we, if we crossed swords, it wouldn't be like, ew, you know? It'd be like, whoa, that was cool. It was like, is that like a, a did we just give each other a high five in a different way? <laughs> 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 I just pictured it. That fucking cracked me up. Yeah, it's like, like, you know, like, it's like, whoa, you just give me daps? daps. Yeah. <laughs> so really, Bobby Lee? He's the only guy I think that uh, I would have a foursome with. That's a dude for now. Because uh, up until this point. And it has to be Kalila ago, too? What if it's another girl? Uh, I don't know. So only Bobby and Kalila? And the reason what? why is because I, I need feel, to text them. I feel like because we're close, 
there's also like this safe space. You know what I mean? Like we're a safe space. I mean, you have that with all our circle of friends. Nah, not as much as them. Is it because you know that they're truly themselves and yeah. they accept all of their good with the bad yeah. and there's no judgment at all? So yeah, like Kalila is okay with Bobby shitting on the wall, <laughs> right? Yeah. Takes a special woman it does. and a special man to do <laughs> to both do, of those yeah. things, right? Yeah, yeah. So I feel like people that are like that, they're very true and raw and honest. Yeah. And so it creates, what what it creates a safe space. Because I know there's no judgment. Hey, sometimes you eat Mexican food and it doesn't come out the way you want, right? <laughs> so like there's, there's, there's that. And and I, wait, like you eat it and then you shit out the way you don't want it to? Or yeah, you, you didn't eat? plan for that to happen. Okay. Okay, got it, so got there's, it. So there's, uh, there's, you know, there's this just level of like comfort uh, humility, you know, all of that. And I think it creates a safe space. And also Bobby's not a human being. So it just all makes it like a perfect recipe. You take uh, Kalila out. I don't know if it's the same. You take Bobby out. It's not going to be the same. It's got to be like this whole, because I know Bobby and Kalila as that too. They're also an item Yeah. that they're very safe with each other and everything's okay. Yeah. So it's got to be like that. I don't mm. know if I know. I don't know if I also know another uh, item that's also that open, that vulnerable with each other that makes me feel that safe. Wow, that's influential, man. Like if Bobby shit in my car, them. I'd be like, that's Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, any, but anyway, because it's, it's almost like, it's almost like um, if he shit in my car and I reacted weird, it's almost as if I'm weird. Yeah, you're the bad guy. Because it's like, I already been knowing he does this. Yeah, why are you surprised? Yeah, but if anyone else shits in my car, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That's disgusting. Why'd you do that? You know? But with Bobby, it's like, told you so. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah. Wow. So only with them. Wow. That's amazing. Why would you George, have- you're gonna have a fun time listening to this one. <laughs> why would you why would you have a, a whole uh force something with, with anyone that I know? But you so you feel like you know them? I mean, if if they know me and I know them, that's already too much. Too much relationship. I don't want any attachment, any but don't relationship. Don't you want to feel safe a little bit? No, I feel oh. the safest knowing that there's I don't know anything about them and they don't know anything about me. So I'm not involved. Oh. I'm not invested. It's just I'm there for one thing. I, that's it. Do you count do you count celebrities that you know? No. No, right? No, I don't know them. Oh, okay. So knowing knowing is like actually having personal con- communication. Yeah. So like if you were like Ryan Gosling in the notebook, yeah. then I know the notebook, Ryan Gosling, and I'd be like, no, not him. Because now I know him. Oh, Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if it's Ryan Gosling, you, I, yeah, don't know, I don't know. Him. I don't know the real I'm Ryan down. Gosling. Yeah, I don't oh, know him. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck Ryan Gosling. I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But then it's also weird. Like, I don't like. I don't think I've ever had celebrity crushes because I think I've been knowing the truth about Hollywood and how like they Photoshop shit and just like soft box lighting and angles and. They're also really fucking skinny, at least back in the day. Now it's there's more diversity in body. Amen at that. But yeah, I, I think because of that, I never had celebrity crushes because I'm like, you do not fucking look like this. All the time, at least. They don't look like that all the time. Yeah. Or a majority of the time. Or like a close up and then their makeup's all fucking caked on. But some people have an to... essence, though. They do. And that's a very few people. And then that essence is what like uh, you find sexy. Yes. Ooh, who has a sexy essence? Rihanna has a sexy essence. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think in my opinion, in Hollywood-ish, because she's I know she's more music, she's probably the sexiest person I know in the whole Hollywood realm. Mm. Who else is another? Miley Cyrus kind of has it, but she's a little bit on the weirder side for me. But and that's also what kind of makes her sexy. I, I honestly think Rihanna and Miley Cyrus, to me, are probably the two sexiest people in Hollywood. Chicks-wise, at least. I also like, um, who's the girl from Hunger Games? Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. I think she's pretty attractive too. Because she's really hot and classy, but she's also fucking weird. Yeah. And I like that about her. I like weird people. No, she's sexy too. I love weird people. But not as much to me. Like, what I find sexy about Rihanna and Miley Cyrus is it's almost like, this is who I am. This is who you get. I don't need to change myself. And I'm super comfortable with myself. And I think that's what's very sexy about them. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people might go, oh, 
that chick. That's crazy. She's a crazy, Lawrence. crazy yeah. ass bitch or whatever. But Jennifer Lawrence is more of like, this is who I am. But she's also very vanilla. So she's yeah. like, this is who I am. And I'm like, well, that's cool. That's who you are because who you are is very normal. Yeah. You know who else I thought was hot? Who? Character, not real life. Cersei. Oh, yeah. She's fine. Yeah, because. Uh, Her power. I was like, oh, bitch. Because. Uh. She has blessed my eyes before, but I didn't recognize her. Oh, from uh, 300. 300. And I love that story because she fucked another dude to save her man. And she killed him while so, they were having sex, right? Huh? No. Or she no, she, she stabbed that? him. She stabbed him after. But she didn't kill him. Maybe she did. Okay. But anyways, like she fucked another dude to save uh, her man. And I'm yeah. like, that's a true that's a true love right there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so I really loved her character, but I didn't find her attractive. But then in uh, Game, Game of, of Thrones, Thrones, I found her very attractive. She was hot. Even Hillary, <clears throat> even Hillary Clinton can get a little bit. Clinton? Clinton. I was swallowing. I think. Just because she's a fucking powerhouse. I think what makes her hot is that but I know she's, she's, evil. she's killed 30 people. She's so fucking evil. Like the fact that I she's that she's like put hits on 30, more than 30 people is what I think makes her sexy. Yeah. Because you're like, wait, what? You just look like some old ass bitch. Yeah. But you're like, but you're fucking killing people. Yeah. That's kind of hot for some yeah. reason. Yeah. I feel like, let me just lick your pussy so I can get a little bit of that fucking power. Oh, shit. It's fucking nasty. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it, but I'm saying that's the power that I'm like. Do you, do you think Bill Clinton's kind of hot too then? Uh, no. Because I feel like he's just a little puppet. Oh, Hillary's the real puppet. Yeah. Puppet master. I mean, these are all conspiracy things, right? So who knows? But we're just judging, by, just, we're judging by essence. It's just fun. Yeah. I just want to fun. I, I want to fun I feel, a little bit. I feel essence too. Yeah. Who's another one that has that essence? Um. Any dudes? Any dudes that you go, that guy's sexy. Uh, well, I, I, so I always go back and forth with Jason Momoa because <clears throat> I think he's sexy because he's just looks rugged. Like he just looks like a, like just a man, you know, like he, he look, smells like a man. He does man him, shit. Though, the problem with him is that all of it is very fucking manly, but his personality seems so, so soft, so soft and yeah. nice. Yeah. So I think that's the part. Like I like a brute, you know what I mean? And he looks like he smells. Cause the Dorthraki Jason Momoa. Oh, he was fine. Where he's like. Give me that. I'm going to fuck you in your yep. fucking brains. That's me. That yeah. give give me that one. Give yeah, me yeah. fucking what's his name? Ah, uh, Call Drogo. Yes, give me that one. That's that's a that's my But I thought crush. you don't want to let know people. Huh? I thought you said you don't want to know people. Now you know that one. Not enough though because he died so soon. You didn't get uh, to know him. Oh, true. You were barely warming up to his character and you're yeah. like, oh, he's actually not a savage and he yeah. kind of loves her yeah. and he kind of respects her and then he dies. Yeah. So I didn't get to know enough. So I knew enough to know that he's not uh, a bad guy. I see. You know who I never found uh, like super hot? Daenerys Targaryen. Daenerys. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Because she's technically the lead. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people do find her hot. But I always, I always thought Cersei was way hotter. Yeah. I think we like evil people. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Why do we always root for the fucking villain? <laughs> is Rihanna a villain? No, I don't think she's a villain. But I think she's very sexy and I think Miley but Cyrus But she's more is of very... like the black sheep of yeah. entertainment. <laughs> so is Miley Cyrus. She's kind of the outcast. That's true. Because when they're too like, <laughs> I don't know if they're too comfortable. If I've seen it, I'm like, oh, you're kind of like boring. Right. And then I feel like, is this real? Or are you just acting because, you know, this is the masses and people are going to love you for it regardless. But I feel like when you're the underdog or the the villain, like you have to fight for people's love. Yeah. So I'm like, you're really that's who you really fucking are. Yeah. Why do we like the villains? That's tight. OK, who else do we like? Who else do we like? Any other guys I like? OK, so Tom Hardy. Mm. No, no. Oh. Cal Drogo, not Jason Momoa. Cal. Cal Drogo. Okay. Yeah. I like him. Um, who else do I like? Anyone noble? Come on. Noble? I don't know. Like a good guy. Maybe Brad Pitt. Really? Maybe. Brad Pitt, the way he... Oh, he's also a bad guy. Kind he's of. just sexy, sexy though. I liked him in Fight Club. He's he's sexy, sexy. He's not like sexy. You know what I mean? Oh, he's not he's a bad boy. No, no. He oozes sex though. Yeah, but you know he's not I mean? a bad boy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> a bad boy. Yeah. But I mean, I like him, like but he, I like he him in Fight sex, Club. But he's not going to pretend like he's going to put it in your butt. You don't know that. I do know that because he's not he, That's he's not a bad boy. 
You know, he doesn't he doesn't like like drive over the lanes a little bit. He stays in the lane. Oh, but he who, rides in the lanes hardcore. Yeah, but he doesn't like go. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh, you see that? Yeah, he doesn't do that. Um, Kanye is is someone that I like too. But I don't think he's sexy. I just nah. love his. I just love his like. He's too crazy. He's just wild. He's too crazy. So he, he's he, doesn't, he doesn't even. If you guys have sex, he won't even know he's there. His brain's like somewhere else. He's probably like counting, <laughs> counting the True. the popcorn on the ceiling. Okay, fine. No, okay, not Kanye. Um, Donald Trump. No, I think I put him in a different cat. I put him in the same category as I do. What's his name? Steve Jobs. <laughs> Are you just throwing random names? No. No, I, I think he's a genius. Notorious fucking MSG. No. What? The fucking MMA guy. Why can't I think of his name? Conor McGregor. Yes, I put them in the same category. You don't think he's sexy? No, I wouldn't want to fuck him. Why he's too weird? Yeah, I think Cardi B is pretty sexy actually. When she's done up. Cardi B's personality is sexy. Yeah. 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 Cardi B's tight. I would want her in my fucking... I want her to be my girlfriend. Like, friend, that's a girl. <laughs> would you guys kiss? I think so. I think we would just, like, kiss in the <laughs> mouth. Like, hey, how you doing? Mm. Oh, how damn. You doing? Mm. Oh, shit. Hey, girl. Mm. You look so cute. Mm. <laughs> oh, damn. Just a little peck. Oh, dang. Oh, I haven't seen you so long. Mm. Okay, two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We should hang out with her then. Hey, if you know Cardi, honestly, please honestly. hook me up. She's not going to care about me. This, this teeny tiny Cardi. Yeah. So no dudes that are sexy, huh? It's hard. Give me some more. It's hard. Because there's not that many dudes that are sexy to me. I just thought, you know, Jason Momoa, Tom Hardy. Mm, no Tom Hardy. Give me some more. Give me some Gerard more. Gerard Butler. Matt Damon. Gerard Butler sometimes. Depends on his in like Mark Wahlberg. I'm just leaving the name. I only that. like Mark Wahlberg in the movie where he's like kind of a little psychopath. Psychopath, Mark yeah, Wahlberg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he um there's a scene at the movie. God, what is it? Is it closer? Is that what it's called? Uh, I've never seen it. They're like on a roller coaster and he's like finger banging her. Oh shit. What about uh Christian Bale? Mm, no. No Christian Bale. Damn. No. It's hard for you to Anthony, find a type then. Yeah, Anthony Kiedis was one of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was one of them for me yeah. for a little bit. You need fucking a weirdo that's still kind of like sexy and leading man Yeah, qualities. I also liked... Oh, fuck. What was his name? Steve-O? Uh, fuck. I can't remember. He was with Carmen Electra. Oh, my God. We're so old. Dave Navarro? Yeah. I thought he was a little bit sexy, a too. A little bit. about Dave Chappelle? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too funny? No, never. <laughs> Never, never. He's just someone I really highly respect. What about Denzel Washington? No. What about Michael B. Jordan? Yes. He's pretty sexy, huh? He's pretty fine. Yeah. He is like He's sexy, pretty fine. but he has a hint of like like darkness to him. Not enough darkness, like a little though. bit of bad boy. I just want to look at him. I wouldn't want to have sex with him. Oh. Yeah. He's a little bit of bad boy, you know? No, I'll let him, I'll let him like caress me a little bit, but I wouldn't want to fuck him. What about Idris Elba? Oh. He has more of the darkness that I like. What about The Rock? No, he's too goody goody. He's a good goody two shoes. Yeah, I don't huh? like him. I <sighs> love him. I love him, but not to not to sleep with him. Poor Rock, you're too goody two shoes for her. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> if you were considering it, sorry. So I feel like the type of person you want to fuck has probably been in jail. I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I would hope so. Hmm, who's been in jail then? Robert Derny Jr. How were you thinking about that same shit I was? Because he's been in jail. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, I also liked, uh, what's his name? They're part of the same era, Robert Downey Jr. and Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp? Yeah, when he was younger. He was like crybaby times. Yeah. He was hot. What about Edward Scissorhand time? He was a hot. Charlie Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam. Only Sons of Anarchy. Because now I'm thinking of the Dark Realms. Yeah, only Sons of Anarchy. I really liked him in Sons of Anarchy. I like that. I like that a lot. What about Kurt Sutter? He's the creator of it. The no. Producer. no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, fine. Dude, I like, I fucking had a crush on The Beast. What? Who? Beauty Which and the Beast? Beast. Beauty and the Beast. The you Beast. did? The cartoon one? What the? F don't act surprised. This is, well, I've been saying this I know, for but it always catches, throws me off, it catch, throws me off guard <laughs> every yeah. time I hear it. It catches and throws you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I thought he was so hot. And then when he became the the person, I was, was like, ew. Bitch. 
Yeah, I'm like, he looks so bitch. weak. Ew, yeah. no, get out. Yeah. But the beast himself was fucking tight. Mm. Yeah, I thought the beast was, I thought the beast was, I like Gaston too. He was all right. Because when I was, when I was watching, kind of dumb. When I would watch like uh, stuff like that as a kid, I'm like, why do you like that fool? Gaston and the beast are dope. Mm -hmm. You turn them into a little bitch. Mm -hmm. Look what I you agree. did, Belle. Yeah, what Fucked the fuck? Up. Any other cartoon characters you thought were fine as fuck? I feel like all the Disney princesses are pretty hot. At least the older ones. I remember when Sailor Moon came out, I was pretty horny about them. Sailor Moon? Really? Yeah. That's tight. I mean, I was elementary school. <laughs> I'm trying not to judge you. Hey, fucking <laughs> that's, that's Tuxedo fine. Mask was pretty hot too, all right? Who's that? You didn't watch Sailor Moon then. That's her like love interest. Oh, I only watched Sailor Moon enough just to get a boner and then probably went outside and played in the backyard. They were really cutesy. Yeah. So you do so you like the cutesy shit? Well, I think I liked that she was wearing a sh uh, short skirt the whole time. You get a little boner? Probably got a little boner. Yeah, a little, little elementary school boner going on. Yucky. <laughs> do all guys get little boners? Yeah. I mean, sometimes Tiger gets a boner. We'll change his diaper when he's sleeping. And they're like, oh, he's thinking about something. <laughs> I don't think he's thinking about anything. No, it's just I think hormones. it's just yeah, I just think it's his little body. Yeah, his little body like going through like pre pre pre. pre the pre, first pre, time pre, I pre, saw pre, that, pre. I was like, oh shit! And I I was changing his diaper, and I'm like, how do I not hurt him? Since I'm not equipped with a dick, I don't know. Yeah, because you're like, do, do I put it down? Yeah, up to the side? do I like or tuck it this way? Well, I didn't want to touch it either. Yeah. So I like I just put the the diaper, the diaper. Oh. over the boner. <laughs> he's pitching a tent and I just, diaper. Yeah, I just <laughs> left enough room for that because I just didn't want to hurt him. Yeah. Was he smiling? <laughs> no, what the fuck? I didn't even look, you weird fucker. <laughs> You're so fucking weird. You asked the weirdest fucking questions. <laughs> so weird, man. Why? I'm not weird. I asked I, the right questions. <laughs> Fine. Depends how you want to look at it then. Yeah. But yeah, I never really found a lot of people very attractive. Damn, that's crazy. I, I found know. so many people attractive. Like I, I'd have I, crushes throughout my whole life. I could like, probably name all of them. Like I appreciate beauty and I'm like, wow, they're hot, you know? But me going, ooh, I can't wait to fuck them. Like I don't ever think uh, that. I don't know about fucking because some of them was too young. But if I had to name them, the first one was Alyssa Milano oh. from Who's the Boss? Just even as a kid, I saw her as a little girl too. Zach and Morris. She was probably like a few years older than me, but I already knew she was going to be pretty. Zach Morris. And then the next girl uh, I had a crush on was, um, uh, she's this chick from um, Charles in Charge. The blonde chick? Yeah, I forgot okay. her name. Samantha or something maybe? Something like that. Uh -huh. And then after that was, um, uh, what's uh, Carlton's little sister in Fresh Prince? I forgot her name. <sighs> I forgot her name too. But Tatiana Ali is her real That's name. That's her right? real name. I had a crush on her. And then I had a crush on uh, not Pamela Anderson from Baywatch, but the other blonde chick. And then there's another. Oh, and then and then Yasmin Bleef. Remember her? She had brown hair and blue eyes. It sounds so familiar. I had a crush on her. And then I had a crush on Nala from Lion King. Hey, that one scene when they're wrestling and she pins him down. Yeah. And she gives him the sex fuck me eyes. Yeah. I've I always had a crush on Jesse from Saved by the Bell. I never liked the other chicks. Kelly and Lisa? Nah. Lisa Turtle could get it too, though. Yeah. Kelly was probably the ugliest Kelly one. was, yeah, Kelly to me was just so boring. Yeah. So I didn't like. Jesse was all right. Kinda, I think Lisa was. She had an attitude was... problem like you, so I liked it. Oh, you're saying you're fucking, I have an attitude because I have an opinion as a woman and you're... I didn't say all that. You got to close your mouth after. No, that's it. just the Jesse I thing. I know, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, fine. And then who else? Do you know Zach Morris and Lisa Turtle actually dated for three years in real life? That's so cool. I didn't know that during the filming of the show. That's so cool. I always... Yeah, I always I thought... I saw that on Instagram. I always thought that was so cool. What, when they date? Yeah. I don't like it. Why? Because I'm just like, you're messing with the integrity of the fucking script. This is not supposed to continue off script. But that I means like it when musicians do it. But that means when the feeling's real. Like, you know, Jon Snow and the Wildling? I don't like it. Like, they they actually became a thing. I thought I that was tight. Like I don't like it. I felt chemistry. I felt chemistry on the screen. I want you to act. And the chemistry was no, real. I want you to act. You don't want the chemistry to be real? No. I don't oh. want it real. The only time I want it real is with music. I love real chemistry in music. Oh. But no. Don't fucking, don't fuck behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you want the chemistry to be real though I mean you can have what you want and okay. I'll have what I you want have your one. and Fine. I don't want it 
Let's see who else I have a crush on growing up. Leonardo motherfucking DiCaprio, baby. Enrique Iglesias. For real? Doesn't he have a fat mole? He used to. Oh. He took it off. And what the fuck does that have anything to do with anything? I'm not fucking his mole. I don't know. Yeah, he did have it on his cheek and he got it removed. I did have a crush on Cindy Crawford. Doesn't she have a fucking mole? Because we're talking about moles and then she's okay with the mole. Yeah, she is because she has it on her lip, right? But like if she got one. rid of it, it'd be way better. Dude, my mole on the side is growing. Is it? Let me see. It feels like it got bigger. So it's I the need to same take it off. size. No, it's not. I measure it every night to make sure it doesn't get bigger. I, it's the same size. No, I stare at my face for hours. Oh, like fine. that's where I spend most of my time just looking at my face. And it's getting bigger. Oh. Oh, oh you know who else I had a, a crush on? Jamie Presley. Remember her? She's old school. Wait, isn't that? No, wait, I'm mixing them up. Jamie Presley. I'm mixing her up with um, the Joker girl now. The the Wolf on Wall Street, the new actress. Oh, Margot Robbie? Yeah, I'm mixing both she's of them up. She's hot too. Oh, she's fine. Well, she was fine in that movie. And then she just kind of started changing a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, Denise Jamie Presley, Richards. She was fine too. She yeah. could get it when she was really young. Yeah. Not like illegal. Too really young. young. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy you have to clarify these days? Yeah. Because everyone's like, what do you mean? Everyone's what weird, What do man. you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like like in her 20s. Yeah, it's crazy. Like 20s. everything you say like, hmm, what are you saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when she was of age. Yeah. But not too young. Yeah. She was really pretty. Angelina motherfucker Jolie. She's oh, <laughs> dude, I had the biggest crush on she's her. She's super hot. I was like she's questioning. She's oozing sex too. Oh, she's fine, Ooze dude. Oozing sex. Her and Brad Pitt, when they announced that they were together, I was like, I was like, oh, I knew it. I felt can I it. please just watch your sex tape? You said like you don't want seconds. it on screen. You just said you don't want the on screen to leave the screen. And I that's don't want it on screen. That's what happened. Mr. 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 Smith, they're like, ooh, the I know. I don't like real. that. I don't like that. When I watched that movie, I don't like that they liked each other. I but don't the, like it. But then off you, camera, I love it. I don't like that movie because I know that they liked each other. You need to get your story straight. What? I literally just explained what I but said. Then you earlier. said you'll watch them have sex. Yeah. Off but screen. I don't want a script. I want some raw shit. Yeah. Not anymore. There this was, was like 10 there years. There was ago. raw shit on screen and off I screen. I don't want it on screen with the script and cast and shit. I want the fucking leaked tapes. Oh. Yes, when then to, oh, when she was with Bobby, what's his name? Bob, uh, the Billy guy, Bob Thornton. Billy Bob, yeah, Thornton. I was just like, he could get it. Billy I'm Bob. Like, well, because I'm just like his name, because I'm just like if he got her and she already seems wild, he must be wild. So that was the only reason why I was like, hmm, Billy Bob. He all seemed right. like the older version of Tommy Lee. True, Tommy Lee now is the older version of Tommy Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I never had any crushes on any like hairband people like that. Oh. Any other chicks that I thought was Aaliyah? She was she was She's alright. She was alright, but not like What about Mariah Carey? Nah, never found her attractive. Mm. I mean she's pretty, obviously, but never like Any of the TLC chicks? Never boiled my tea. TLC chicks? No. Mm. Tyre Banks. Yeah? yeah? You liked her? Yeah, when she was young. Not that young. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> People are like, hmm. Like when she was on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Young? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't like her. I, I did. never. I thought she's gorgeous. Like, I think she's beautiful, but man, she's kind of plain. I don't think she's plain. For me, she's kind of She looks plain. exotic like crazy. Really? Her eyes? Yeah, she looks like she could be like an Egyptian princess. All right. I'll give it to you. Who else? Not very many people, man. I just named like 30 people. Maybe I have way lower standards than you. Yeah, I, th I mean, in everything, baby. So uh, if I wanted to have a threesome and I wanted another guy in the picture, it could only be Bobby Lee. <laughs> another guy? Yeah. No, it has to be a girl. Why do you have to get the call? What the fuck? Why do you make the call? Don't we live in America? Yeah. It's that's why. Why do you make the call? It's democracy. You got to vote on it. Yeah. Nobody voted. You're like, no, nah, girl. No, we got to vote. Well, the vote's going to go nowhere because I don't want a girl. And you want a girl. Then that's why policies take forever. That's why the 405 is not fixed. All right. So then we're not going to ever have a threesome. I guess not. All right. Well, good. All right. So 405 is never going to be fixed. Fine. Then uh, that's it. So that's the title of this podcast. <laughs> why? <laughs> why nothing? <laughs> this goes? is why we don't have threesomes. Why democracy doesn't work. 
<laughs> well, we need one more person in the room. Maybe I should bring a guy in here and then he could vote what he wants. Why a guy? We got to vote, vote if it's a guy girl. I just want randomly. We got to vote if it's a guy girl. We got to vote to vote. And that's how politics works. <laughs> exactly. Fine. I vote a guy. I vote a girl. <laughs> okay. Then we, then we got to wait. All right. Then we'll never know. That's true. Why well, does it have to be a guy though? Oh, no, it doesn't have to be a guy. I was oh. just asking. It was a hypothetical. But would you? No. If it's, if it's, so for me, it's no dude, only Bobby Lee, but only if Bobby Lee comes with Kalila and then that's it. And then if it's out of this foursome, all threesomes have to be only a girl for me. Uh, are you fucking this other girl? Possibly. No, you don't get to fuck anything but me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not fair then. If I have a guy, because then he would have to fuck me, right? Because I can't fuck him. Yeah. I don't want to fuck him. Yeah. Okay, so then I guess we just vote, we, we have our vote. What's the vote? It's just us. <laughs> it's just back to, <laughs> hey, that's politics too. You know, sometimes <laughs> you do back. something and then you go 20 years and it goes right back to the same thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's how it works. But looks like we'll be uh, in business for a while. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, well, uh, guess what time it is. What time is it? Is there anything else you would like to add? Because it's the end of the podcast. It's 1020. Uh, no. Ever? Like nothing? You don't have any profound thoughts? No, because I say all my profound thoughts in the podcast. Good for you. I like that. I really what about do you? Like what that. about your profound thoughts? I don't ever have any. So yeah. this is why I film a podcast in hopes that maybe one of them slips out of my mouth. And do they ever? Once in a blue moon. It's been a minute. I haven't done this in a long time. I can't get uh, wait to get back into the swing of things with like JK and shit. And then I can improv more with my friends. Uh, right now, it's just you and you're kind of boring. So <gasps> I don't really get to exercise. You know, my I'm fun not boring. side. I know. I'm just fucking around. But sometimes, sometimes I say some profound shit. I get a repost here and there. It's rare. Thanks uh, to the last two people listening right now. You guys are awesome. You guys you, are awesome. You don't have sex with us. This is just you two. You're down for foursome, right? We don't know them. Only Bobby and Kalila. Ah, fuck. Bobby and Kalila, I hope you're watching this. Um, other than that, uh, I'm And for some reason, I actually don't mind if Bobby doesn't take a shower before. What the fuck is going on? You know he, what? I think, I think like poop and cigarette smell kind of comes with the package. It's time. I don't even know if he smokes cigarettes, but he looks like he smells like cigarettes. He used to smoke. He doesn't smoke anymore. He, for sure, he smells like cigarettes. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah, no matter what. <laughs> all right. I'm going to make sure to text them all this information. Okay. <laughs> We're going to title this I want to have sex with Bobby, Bobby Lee and, and Kalila. Let's do that. And Kalila Lee. <laughs> Bobby and Kalila Lee. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. And also, thank you to our sponsors. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.